Hey folks, welcome back to Lorcana Lexicon. We've had the first week of store championships, and like the title suggests, two top fours, two stitches. As the title also suggests, we got a playmat. Is it a first or second? We'll get to that in a minute. So this video is going to be broken down into a couple of sections. I'm going to very briefly talk about the decks that I played, and then I'm very fortunate to have the footage of my finals match. So what we'll get to do is we'll get to watch my finals and then you'll see if this is a runner up or a champion play map. The events were actually really, really fun. It was great to get to play some really high level intensity Lorcana because it's just an itch that doesn't get scratched at your locals very often. The big takeaway from the weekend though, and you'll see this from the deck lists is Steel is the best colour, hands down in my opinion, and that is in no small part to Mr. Smee. This guy has changed the game. So the deck I played in the first event I made top four was an amber steel list that you'll be seeing right now. Now, playing this deck, I lost in the semis, so that's not the content you're going to get to see today, but I am going to make another video highlighting this deck. I'll run it through Pixelborn, I'll let you see exactly what it does. This deck is tooled to beat all of the aggro decks, to beat all of the song decks, and then just play heads up against the items decks and against bounce. I think this deck's pretty well positioned in the meta because you don't lose to the decks that are trying to prey on the items decks, and then against the items decks, you're trying to stay in the game with Hades, Rapunzel. Pongo actually pulled a lot of weight here as well. But I will make a full video dedicated to this one. But I just thought it was worth throwing it up right now to let you see the deck list because people will ask, what did you play? What did you top four with? I top floored with this. But let's look at the deck that I made finals with. So in the event where I lost in the semis, I actually lost to a blue steel deck. And the finals of that event were two blue steel decks. So it made me go, do you know what? Okay, I've made my top four with my amber steel deck. Let's try something different. And I registered this blue steel list. Again, I fully intend to do a full length video on this. I'll run it through some pixel born games, let you see exactly what it does. But we've seen blue steel before. It was about for set two. It's all about the card advantage you're going to get off a of Flavisham, the ramp you're going to get off a of Quill, putting down turn 4 Tinkerbell or turn 4 Gaston or turn 4 Cogsworth or Beast off of Mickey and then using one of those big beasties to sing a whole new world, sing grab your swords, just generate an absurd amount of card advantage and then just snowball over the whole game. This deck actually got a lot though with set 3. It used to really struggle with the aggro matchups but now that you've got this Mr. Smee and Captain Hook package and along came Zeus, you can just really take the pressure off yourself. There was a couple of tech choices here as well, like playing two Rise of the Titans, and that's just because you really, really struggle to deal with locations because you're not putting enough pressure onto the board in the early turns. So sometimes it's important to just sandbag that Rise of the Titans like you might see in one of these games. I was really fortunate actually to play against my good friend Mike McCarran in the finals. So I was actually able to get his full deck list because I told him I was going to make a bit of content on this. So he was happy to oblige me the deck list. So let's look a little bit at Mike's deck list right now. So this is a deck list that Mike went on an absolute tear with. And again, like we're seeing another deck with four copies of Smee. This, this guy is an absolute unit. Now you can see here that Mike has opted to play the steel cards instead of the ruby cards in the bounce package. And I think that's a really smart idea. It just lets you have a more aggressive game plan and it means you're not stuck with a lot of weird uninkables, you know, like sometimes Tremaine and Madame Medusa just aren't where they need to be in a matchup. So the fact that this deck has the flexibility to just ink all of its steel cards and just play around its bounce plan. I'm, I'm a big fan of this version over the Ruby version for sure. Okay, so now that we've seen the two decks, let's see what happened between myself and Mike in our finals match. Yeah. Alright, good luck, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Odds or evens? Uh, Harold? Odds or evens? Come on. Odds or evens? Odds. Alright. I'll go first. Yeah. Already winning the mental game. Good play. You're on the play. Yeah, I'll take the play. Bye. Good luck. 
Um, we're going to Tinkerbell. Clear popsicle. On you go. Boom, and I'll play a hook and pass. Yes. Uh, I love Tink -tink. Yep. Sneak, go. Six. Go. 
Hank uh, Rice? Yeah. How many have Cold Wars thing on your world? Yeah. Quest Wabersham. Yep. Draw two. Yep. The cog. Yep. Uh, yep. Um, um, so thirteen. Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I can kill two of them, but it's still. Yeah. yeah. Alright, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. 
Alright, good luck, let's do it. Good luck. Alright. Ready? Mm -hmm. Friends. Go, go ahead. Um, Three. Yep, go. Um, one, go. Go. Yep. There's a chance. Uh, tank, tank. Yep. It's me. You got it. Two. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Yep. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twelve. Yep. Okay, twelve. Go. damage to himself but he's got resist. Oh that's so cool. Go. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Two? <laughs> 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 two? Yeah. Oh, two, sorry. Yeah. Bell? Yeah. yeah. Fail? yeah. Think? Right. Oh. oh, okay. Good. Go. Cool. Is that a one over? Nah. It's a two off. Alright, alright. Actually, that was like, I, I hard held this from the mulligan. Like, I put five back and I need this. Wow, okay. I can't beat this. <laughs> So if you've got a second one, it's starting to look rough for me. Oh, no, no. Two cards, one way. Two cards. 
Where is it? 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 Um, one card, Magic. One card. Castle. Yep. Yep. Play go. Six. And eight. Six. Go. Also, Mike sounds like he is in that one. Yeah. Drop. Yep. Yep. Um, Popsicle. Yep. Um, <laughs> It's this. Trigger. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, five. Seven. Thank Bill. Yep. Go. <laughs> yes. Yep. Eleven. Eleven. Go ahead. Oh, uh, well, right, yeah. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> I was desperate to draw. I did. Yeah, I'm in the middle. 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 Yeah, I'm in
Quest lava shot up to the top two. Yep. Sacrifice us. Try to. Pinocchio to ink. Kill Robin Hood. Sweet. Yep. Quest 5. Yep. 18. Cool. Good games. Woo! Oh, good. And there we go, folks. Champion playmat. Two stitches. What a weekend. Like I said, I'm going to make more content on the, both the decks that I played. But the format seems really fun and really wide open. You know, you can play green steel, you can play green purple, you can play purple red, you can play purple steel. It's it's open. It's really, really open. I think the, the Steel decks have a big leg up, but it's by no means a solve format and anything can win. It's an absolute blast to play these events. If you haven't played in one, go and play in one this coming weekend. The promos are sick and anything goes. Subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Give the video a like if you like watching physical cards and not just pixel born so that I know to do more videos like this. And if you want to know anything about my deck selection choices or my card choice in the deck, just leave me a comment below. Let's talk about it. And I'll see you all for the next ones, folks. Keep thinking happy thoughts.